Hi folks. So, today has been so much better. Uh, I had a really good day actually. Um, I'm really glad I went to the shop and spoke to Daniela. Uh, ben was there. Uh, he's like the next senior boss. Well, I don't know what you call him exactly. I've never known what how what flipping title to give him, to be honest, because nobody's ever actually told me. Even he hasn't. Nobody's actually explained, and I know he's like the big boss, everyone says he's the big boss, but he's not like the CEO. But, I don't know if he's like the next one down from the CEO, so whatever that is, I have no idea. Anyway, so Ben was there, and I had a quick chat with him, and, you know, he was saying like, you know, go to your doctor, uh, sort out a sick note, blah, 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 do that first, and then try and sort some out with your, with your finances, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, but I'm glad I did that, and I might even try and go again tomorrow. Just pop in, show my face, just say hello. Because Daniela, Daniela said that, like, you know, obviously pop in, and and you know, she said like you can come and get your lunch and stuff and what have you. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, that that's that's amazing. So, I might try and go again tomorrow. Uh, after I've been to the doctor, I got an appointment for the doctor tomorrow. Got an appointment for 11:45. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the doctors first, and then I'll go uh, go to the shop. Um, oops, I just knocked the door open. Uh, <laughs> knocked the door open. Um, knocked it closed. Um, so, do you know, I've been looking at this painting as well. It's one of my paintings. How's that look on there? Because you see, it's it's varnished, and the light reflects off it quite. What's that? So sometimes it's difficult to see because of the reflections. Um, I know you guys have seen this painting a million times, I'm sure. Um, I just can't remember if I've actually explained to you. This is on a meter square board. That square, that is a meter square. Uh, I asked that for that specifically. Um, when I was on the Tony Hillis unit, um, when I was doing my A level, um, they uh, basically. Uh, I said I, I asked the di they had like the works department and they and it's plywood it's plywood it's on plywood uh, and then I primed it then I sketched out the picture uh, which was taken from a pamphlet for uh, some homeless organisation which I forget uh, it might have been Saint Mungo's actually it might have been a pamphlet for Saint Mungo's and I think that was on the inside of it or on the cover I can't quite remember it's a like little pamphlet and. Uh, I just thought it was an amazing picture uh, and it really spoke to me and, and I felt the need to paint it and so I did uh, and that's my version of it and you know I, I love that painting it's, it's not bad uh, I love it much more than that one um, and anyway anywho anywho so speaking of paintings and stuff because you know me I need to be creative I have to be creative um, it's my life's blood, do you know what I mean? It helps me to stay sane, essentially. Uh, so basically, um, you know, I was, I was thinking of creating another video, but I've noticed that some of my more creative types of videos don't get a lot of views, necessarily. I can't say I blame people. Uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea, so that's fine. Um, but anyway, uh, I needed cr to create and, and I didn't know what to do and so I'm thinking to myself right what can I do so I decided to do a painting now are you guys ready for this because thing is right I didn't know what to paint I just knew I needed to uh, and so I've been painting and it's do you know it's fascinating it's really really fascinating because I'll show it you in a second but it's really fascinating it's just struck me see this is another reason why I need to talk a lot is because when I talk stuff pops into my head and, and I start to analyse and I start to think to myself oh hang on oh you know what I mean it's like the penny drops or something do you know what I mean it's like and so I need to talk and obviously at the moment I literally you know for the last month I've been stuck in this house by my own choice, essentially. Um, but I've been stuck in this house with just a cat for company. Which, you know, don't get it wrong, I love my cat. Uh, but he's not a great conversationalist, as you can imagine. Um, 
and uh, so I, I need to I need to talk because talking really helps me uh, anyway the thing is um, now completely take myself off what I was talking about as usual uh, what the heck was I saying uh, sorry I've lost the thread I think it's because I'm getting tired uh, I've been painting for a good few hours now uh, but anyway so yeah um, yeah sorry it's something to do with the painting and the process yeah that was it um, so the thing is it's been a, a roller coaster of emotions as I'm painting it because I'll tell you what it might be easier if I just show you the painting because then I can describe what's going on rather than me try and do it abstractly abstractly ta-da there we go now, I don't know if you're going to like it, hate it, think it's rubbish, I don't know. But that doesn't really matter, uh, to be quite honest, because the thing is, this has been a process. And it's been both enjoyable, frustrating, annoying, angering, in, um, you know, it's made me angry. And I've had outbursts, uh, and I've, you know, shouted and screamed at it, and I've been talking to myself, and... And all the rest of it but that's part of it's like a cathartic process it's like it's like um and rather than being self-destructive it's it's productive and and it, i end up producing something now you can argue whether it's a worth <laughs> anything and i don't mean monetarily necessarily i mean just in the sense of like is it worth a painting is it worth even people looking at it would people like it do you know what i mean um, you know, the thing is that at the end of the day, uh, I just didn't know what to paint. And so th this, this has essentially just come out of my head, more or less. Uh, and, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is, but it just is, you know? And, and the thing is that it's a process and, I, and I'm fighting with it. I'm fighting uh and then there are times when i surrender to it and then there are times when i'm fighting with it again um and i don't know i don't really like it i, I don't really like it I, I, just, I don't know no i don't i don't like it i don't like it but i need to paint it for some reason and I, and then well, as i'm painting it i can see something that's trying to come out i can see something and then I, and I, i'm stepping back from it and i'm trying to see it and i'm thinking what is it what is it trying to what is it trying to be do you know what i mean and then i go back to the canvas and then i'm painting more and then i lose it and then whatever was trying to emerge disappears uh and this is the process this is the process it's like something there something's coming out because you see when you paint the thing is you're having a conversation with your subconscious that's what you're doing you're having a conversation with your subconscious, with the part of your mind that you don't normally have a conversation with, you know, unless you're in sleep, uh, when you're dreaming. That's when another time when you have a conversation with your, with your subconscious. But that's essentially what you're doing. You're having a conversation with your subconscious, the part of your mind that you don't normally interact with, uh, you know, and and so it's it's. You know, I don't know. It's like my subconscious trying to tell me something, uh, and and I see it emerging. I see it emerging, and then and then as I try to build on whatever it is that's trying to emerge, I lose it. It disappears. Uh, this has changed several times since I started painting this. Uh, this didn't look like this originally. Um, it did originally have a uh, uh, like a. a um, I don't know if you can actually still see it slightly, but it had a, uh, what do you call that? Um, like a goat's eye, you know, like a goat's eye, a slit, a slit eye, you know, like, like, a, like a reptile or something. Um, you know, and, and then that just didn't seem to be right, and, and this has changed, and, and I changed this. It was originally down here, but then I, I need to, anyway, anyway, like I said, the thing is that it's, it's a process, man. And, and I both enjoy it, hate it, and it blows my mind. Uh, but ultimately, I think it's much better than the self-destructive behaviour I've been doing over this last 
few months essentially uh, it's a much better uh, less self-destructive I think and again like I said at least something gets produced out of it rather than just stuff being wasted or whatever you know so uh, anyway uh, right okay folks so for the time being I'm gonna leave it there I just wanted to post this guys and let you know what's going on and uh, you know like I said I need to create even if it's just a little video like this I need to create it's the only time and place and space when I feel that I'm doing something and I'm, I'm getting somewhere I'm, I, rather than just laying on my bed or watching DVDs I was gonna say stupid DVDs but I mean the films are alright but <laughs> anyway the blah 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 so <laughs> right anyway I just wanted to post this uh, and let you guys know that I'm getting slowly it's, it's, it's gonna take some time though uh, I don't know how many more recoveries I've got left in me so but like I said I'm getting back on that horse and I'm going to get myself back. So, okay. So for the time being, I'm going to leave it there. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.